Hello, anyone. Uh, I keep, <laughs> I keep trying going for the old intro out of habit. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain, Helion, along with. It's me, Trickier. And welcome back to Tribes Vengeance, where a well, I've done a few, I've made a few little changes. The first off is well, probably a bit obvious, is that I put the old coat in the uh, in the wash finally, and put on this thing. And give me a second while I reset this thing to be in the proper direction again. That, that, that keeps go. happening for Blue some reason. My closer. Oh, there we go. Uh, also, I looked back. I looked back at the previous. <clears throat> at the previous streams and found that my audio was a bit lower and apparently my microphone was only recording at like 80% of it, its normal capacity uh, at the start, so it, being run through OBS it would come out even lower. And why the heck? The, the model keeps looking to the right even well, though I'm looking straight forwards. I did warn you of that. Like when you asked me a few streams ago if the audio was fine, I said, when it's fine on my end, just be warned, I have your, uh, your volume a bit higher. Yeah, but uh, the volume that's, you know, the, the, yeah, the sound that's coming t uh, to Discord and uh, OBS is recorded at different levels. So I, I assumed it was already going well with that, but hopefully it'll come out better now. Um, another thing that is different besides all of that is that I'm currently, uh, I've swapped, I've put OBS behind the game because I'm running it in windowed mode, so I can keep a better eye on the audio down below and the avatar on the right here for me. Uh, you all can't see this, of course, but Verkir can see that. Uh, and, but, and he has had to sacrifice a bit of the space on the left there <laughs> to get this, to get the avatar to, uh, yeah, to be visible on the side here. I could try and tinker around with that a bit more another time, but we were on short notice as it was, because I just came back from keeping attendance for the swimming group, uh, which I'd forgotten I'd volunteer to do a day extra because someone was missing. Anyways, oh uh, anything you want to add? Not much beside the only difference on my end is I have an extra sandwich with liver paste. Okay. Not so really a big change here. <laughs> uh, let's continue on with Jericho, Deliverance in the Past. That's, that you're the, in heavy armor, the... the slowest but toughest of the armors, but and carries the most ammunition. Which makes sense, of course. Lights fast, heavy, slow. Yeah. Yep, and there's a red line through my head. Uh, let me double check that. Oh, that, that's because on the on OBS, the uh, gameplay footage is selected. Let me select something else that will <laughs> decapitate you. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll just put it on the overlay that will put the, red bo the selection border around everything. Here we go. Okay. Ah, much better! Much better! Okay, we've toyed with the mortar a bit before, at the very start of the game, but it's, now we should be able to use it to its full extent. And well, it's a mortar, it's supposed to be a siege weapon. So, uh, let's see. Of course, Wait. if we aim straight at something, Which it's not going to the mortar? Hit. The thing that we're using now, number, Wait, uh, number is... one. Oh. Okay, I'm not used to mortar looking like that. And also, I can I can confirm now something that we talked about before. This game did release at the in the same year as Half Life Two, as well as oh hello, we're getting company, as well as Halo Two. So yeah, it was kind of screwed from the start. Open it up. But what I saw you showed on the list, also Warcraft, World of Warcraft. Okay. So even in, even outside of its uh, own genre, it was outmatched. But at least you show me it was massive. So, uh. wait. Oh, wait, we'll see the Walker 3 or World of Walker, Road Witch, but still. Uh, probably it, it... Uh, World of Warcraft. And yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 came out when I was still in, still in school. And I was, I was 
I was walking with three fans, but when I saw we walked off, I thought, why? Why pay per month for a game? Like, it, the subscription idea was very alien to me. Yeah, same here. And so we both played, yeah, we both played uh, Guild Wars 1, I presume. Or at the very least, Guild Wars I 2. Yeah, okay. Only Guild Wars 2. But yeah, I'll also use the D of the game. I feel like it has no ending. Maybe me also feel like uh, that's a bit weird. And due to what was also before it released, it sounded like you could only have one character. And that really made me. Uh, uh, no. I didn't really start until. I, I tried it for a, on a friend's account, Vanilla, but I didn't start playing it until uh, some. A bit into the Burger Crusade. Yeah, I tried a free, uh, a free, free, uh, thirty day trial, and I played as a Night Elf you Druid for that. But yeah, as I was saying, I, I tried a thirty day better. trial as a Night Elf Druid, and. Yeah, when the trial ran out, I didn't have any <laughs> intent to return to it. Yeah, I did it and I also went Night Elf, but I went Night Elf Warrior. But, yeah, I was really surprised I would return to it. I think it was due to... I, I changed my mind to later try it. And I... I, I think it was due to some friends. And I didn't plan to become an OP rogue player, but I, I, I now become a rogue player. But see a coincidence. And yet people have been telling me it's goes to the avoid rogue players. Like, don't go to rogue player service for if you try to go to the bank in the bank in game, people will yell you at you for cutting the line <laughs> and such, but yeah. I just bullshit. Uh, where the, I think with that it means that, well, the players expect roleplay like 95% of the time. And, oh, hello there. That was a good shot. Yeah, but I wonder if one rogue they do that. Only one. Which actually made it very hard to roleplay with them. There we go. I think the game is cheating a bit with giving us these kills on the turrets a bit early because I, they seem to blow up at 50% health, but oh well. Yeah. But yeah. We have two more the to catch up. Was there, really like, if you would say be right there, we need to go in the bathroom. They will just save you speaking weird and such and ignore that you own B or B or AFK. Oh. So, yeah. Moving 100% non-stop roleplay in MMO is not a good idea. Okay. So, yeah, if, if this Consider game came out like... Oh. One more outpost to go. Understood. If this game came out like a year earlier or later, it probably would have been remembered a lot more. But yeah, he just got outshadowed by a lot of big hitters. <laughs> yeah. And I think it was basically around the time where the games like Andrea Tournaments were actually dying off. Let's see. Oh, hello. Okay. But, uh, yeah, oh, they're heavy. Yeah, heavy armor is, of course, the most dangerous when it comes to uh, direct combat, and I need health. I need health. <laughs> and a quick save, just in case. Hmm. <clears throat> but, yeah, the, the, the way to beat, uh, to beat heavy armor in general would be to, well, outspeed it, outmaneuver it, and, if possible, well, kill it from distance without getting mortared to hell and back. <laughs> because more aiming at those mortars is pretty damn hard. 
especially if you're trying to hit a moving target. It's going to make it pretty much in impossible. Would it still count as a mortar when you turn into a damn rifle? <laughs> uh, how just do you mean that? Though? I'm used to mortars being a small pipe you put on the ground, but a giant, well, you know, those with the evil ones that looks like a big urn. It trebuchets? <laughs> How the heck? What? How does a trebuchet look like an urn? Uh, I, was, I was already getting confused, but what sort of are you talking about? Like a mortar, you know, mortar and pestle or something with that? Because we've uh, okay. we've had big mortar, uh, we've had big mortar guns in uh, games before, like with giants, the Millennium Gun. Okay, here's the thing. In World War, the mortar was just a pipe with two legs. You just toss into a grenade into it and it launched it. Yeah. In medieval time, however, it was a cannon. It was okay, aimed that very short. much upward. Now you get what I'm meaning. Yeah. Something is Those are the most I'm used to. I've There's never seen handheld mortars. Spiders were starting to get on my nerves. The main well, I... prison access is opening. Looks like they're bringing in some backup, General. You can count on the Imperials for some pointless carnage. I'm marking the actual position of the prison on your radar. Get in there. Well, I, I wouldn't exactly call this thing handheld since, well, we aren't even actually handling it ourselves. Uh, Steel! Yeah. <laughs> Mortars are not usually used like a cannon in this <laughs> manner. They're more used to shoot something high and over something. True. And that is mostly how you're supposed to use that thing. It's it's mostly... it's mo You're mostly supposed to use it against stationary targets like these turrets here. Uh, or big slow vehicles like the tanks. Or just lay suppressive fire on an enemy base. Oh, that's a flamer turret. Or a flamer user. Get here. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, I think maybe even more to the more of uh, shooting at the infantry, I think. I'm not fully sure. Can't say I myself. Have to look into it. Go. Uh, we've got to be careful with these because it, but we're already on fire. Since we're slow, we wouldn't be able to get out of the flames as fast. Okay, that's been dealt with. And we can go right into the prison. Uh, hello. Uh, can I help you, sir? Are <laughs> you a bit lost? <laughs> Why did that one suddenly activate? Anyways, in we go. Now what? We're not sure exactly where the mine entrance is. You'll have to access the security system in the control center. I'll mark it on your radar. Drop your weapon! No, how about I drop you instead? Yeah. Oh, they forget. I uh, mean, he was it. I was a short lore video. A one minute one. There was not much lore. At least not to where to start on. And I know that Blood Knights used to be a, a, a night force within uh, the Imperium. You mean the Blood Eagles? Uh, yeah, but the Blood Eagles. They were sent to deal with the Phoenix, for Phoenix breaking off uh, the Empire to become okay. settlers. Now, so they sent the Blood Knights to put them in the control again. But the blood, okay. blood Eagles! <laughs> But 
Yeah, the thing you see, the building just laid on your set. Through it and became the own thing. Okay, from what I had heard, this was supposed this game was supposed to be the first in the timeline or something like that. So if that's true, that and kind of contradicts itself. It's, yeah, unless uh, the wool thing uh, had already happened before the prequel. Which means that there might be a need to be a prequel prequel? There's a large squad of enemies Maybe. from the northern entrance. I'll mark this door on your radar. Oh, northern entrance, and I put mine down <laughs> the eastern entrance. Uh, okay, any other goodies? Yes, here we go. Come on, let me pick those up. Okay, that's there. A shield pack repair pack. I'll, I'll keep the shield for now. That down range. Okay. More bogies, General, from the north and west. Better get those defenses up. Okay. Oh dear. Ah, we have more turrets. I'll put one down on here. Should sure give it a good amount of range. And you can go here. Refill a mortar. Anything else that we can pick up in the ploy? Or is it, oh, a burner, we could use that. Uh oh. Yeah, these entrances are, are are small enough for us to just <laughs> ignite the entire pathway. Uh, can he shot at? Oh, there they are. Okay, there's a lot of you. Okay, that uh -oh. was a lucky mortar, I think. Uh, Brilliant! Don't hmm? eat the flamethrower. <laughs> no promises. It's bad for your breath. But they're so spicy. <laughs> okay. I guess it just means we should uh, get rid of like, a ghost pepper or California Reaper. Uh, I've heard that a lot of stuff uh, gets marketed as having a uh, ghost pepper, but not actually containing any. Or it contains a very small amount of diluted ghost pepper. Okay, like probably hurt can't... myself more there, but okay. Yeah, you can dilute like... Like, when I use sriracha when I make, make omelette, the egg... I, I, I put like a, a spoon of sriracha into two egg, a couple of two eggs. And those two eggs are enough to uh, basically off the strength of the spiciness. Okay, so it's still spicy, but you can at least enjoy the taste a bit more. No bad position. Also, sriracha is a perfect way omelette. For it. It, 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 it almost sticks to get, get so well like a pancake. It okay, I need to find something easier to make. Uh, for that reason. And he's dead. And I forgot the quick save. Of course. Maybe I should not distract you about sriracha <laughs> omelettes. <laughs> now I should have quick saved at the, after the uh, after the holdout point. Uh, but, yeah. yeah. Apparently, I was wrong about this game at one point having an auto save that has never been a part of the game. Oh. And uh, apparently, there were features that they were planning to add in and such with patches, but because this game released alongside the previously mentioned games, uh, yeah, it got kind of, it kind of got its ass kicked <laughs> at the box office, well, not at the box office, at the, with the store sales and sales and such. So, yeah, they, that's why they abandoned the game. 
because they got it absolutely whooped in sales. Oh. And a loader in the chat room. <laughs> Surprise goat! Surprise goat! Okay, uh, how is the audio mixing? Uh, I, I edited it a bit so that I should be more audible, but hopefully I don't drown anything out. The Helly Moon! <laughs> now, so I think I'll just keep the chain gun this time and swap out the mortar for the burner instead. Okay. <laughs> I keep. All the above during shooting, that's good! Wait, I've... okay. I've... I thought I had more health, but apparently not, so let's just go back and find one of those resup uh, so, uh, supply points so we can get freaking healed up completely. Luckily, there should be one yeah. right in here. Oh yeah, 120 health. That was way too few to, to go into combat with. Especially since heavy armors are very susceptible to spin fusers, since, well, they're slow targets, so they're a lot easier to, to get direct hits on. <clears throat> okay. Uh oh. And yeah, it it came up in a pop up earlier, but heavy armor is too uh, <laughs> too big, I'll say, to uh, drive vehicles or get into turrets. So that is specifically yeah. limited to medium and light armor. Makes sense. Also, how's your day today, noon? Oh yeah, grenadier. Oh. Uh, no, no, not grenadier, <laughs> fighter. Yes, I want to wait for news of play. Uh, there's also something else I learned about this game, lore-wise. Oh? The reason they spread all over galaxy is uh, thanks to alien gateways they found, and uh, you'll spread like mad. Okay. It's probably why there's so many people book off the Empire because it becomes so easy to do it. Or they thought it becomes so easy. There goes another but, uh, outpost. Probably many they escaped the them for... The main prison access is opening. Looks like they're bringing in some backup, General. You can count on the Imperials for some pointless carnage. Okay. I'm marking uh, the yeah. actual position of the prison on your radar. Get in there. But I was say, saying before the NPC interrupted me. There are more tribes, like... I forgot all the names, but I do remember a tribe called Star Wolves. And okay, that, that sounds very, uh, Mech Warrior. And, uh, oh, like, I think there was some other ones called... Something about Sabres, but I forgot what. Saber Wolves or something? Uh, there were Star Wolves, so likely not Saber Wolves. I think it might actually be easier to just shoot these with the, <laughs> the chain gun instead of the mortar. Probably sure you're hitting. But yeah, that's probably what there's so many tribes and... Yeah, they just spread so crazy. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to double check. I'll have to double check where this game is in any timeline. But yeah, there's not, there's not much mention of lore specifically in this game, outside of the story that it tells it on its own. So yeah, I, I guess it, technically it counts as a spin-off. My possibility for the other games, it may sound like it was more set to be like Unreal Tournament, like Lady Tutorial games. Like where we saw in Tutorial. Yeah, from what I heard, this is the only Tribes game with a single-player campaign. Yeah, yeah. Even no Luna agrees with me, it kind of has a hey long real tournament vibe. Yeah. You'll have to access the security system in the control center. I'll mark it on your radar. Drop your weapons! No. Nope. <laughs> they drop a more <laughs> a grenade at my feet. Right. Oh, that's the shield generate shields attack and use. The, the shimmering effect we saw it a bit earlier. 
when we use one ourselves. But for now, I'm going to stick with the repair pack since, well, regenerating health is always nice. I don't know if there's anything over that way, but yeah, we've already done this, so we can just move on with this. So I don't think any of these mines actually exploded. Well, that one definitely went off. Holy. Turret. Actually, let, let's put these in a similar position to each other so they can all fire on the same thing, since the enemies are more likely to get to fly into this area anyways. Why couldn't I put it down here? Okay. Uh, pretty sure there was a third one somewhere here. Here? Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. Now they can get shot at from three angles. <laughs> so I can say this somewhere in the way I'm not what's up, but it was only one minute no video. Better get those defenses up. They never told how the Empire was forming and such, only how everyone spread across that galaxy when they found the alien gates. And okay. no mention of the aliens that made them. Hmm. That could have been they interesting for a sequel. Uh, that, that's how the entire game starts. Yeah, Story-wise. Yeah, it would be interesting to see where a sequel to this game, or just another game in the franchise with a single-player campaign, uh, would go. I hope with like investigating those alien and ruins and such. Yeah, but probably the only mention of the alien space case we were basically, yeah, basically it's a star game just in space. Yeah, probably just as huge. Okay, let's That's get out of the main security grid, but now I gotta locate the controller for the energy barrier. Okay, just a Stay bit by. more of this annoying sound, I'm but... detecting enemies coming in from all directions this time. Just in case, quick save. Yeah, I already found a cue for this alarm sound. Just looking at the cute goats in chats. I see four of them at the moment. Wriggling sink. Uh, uh, let's see, extra health. And a final mine. There we go, that's one down. And then that's another. It's a bit of a waste for those uh, to be used on the light armor, since they only use shotguns or well, blasters and chain guns. The real danger are the medium armors with uh, the spin fuses and such. For the reasons I've stated before, heavy armor are very slow and very <laughs> easy targets for spin fusers. Okay. For some reason, that one, that one specific AI is busted or something. Yeah. Quick save. Uh, oh, we have again. But yeah, we have, we have, uh, I think I mentioned before that I found uh, like uh, the whole Imperial versus Tribe I had a rather odd uh, feeling like uh, the British Empire and, and Native mm -hmm. Americans. How did you come from? I'm was not wrong. Yours, they combined. The, the tribes are basically the colo colonists. And let the Americans roll into one versus Thank the British you. Empire in this case. So I think they took a little inspiration from historical events and just... Well... Yeah, so made an entire sci-fi of it. Oh, so it's not the first time uh, I think it, video games done that with sci-fi. Like, I think the point of main games are done it like that. Yeah. And, well... 
colonies trying to break away from a bigger empire is a very common thing throughout, well, history, and thus media as well. Yep. Okay. Anything out there we go. Looks like a mine entrance just below us. I'll unlock the door and mark the entrance on your radar. Oh, yep. Okay, I need a resupply station or something. Heal up. Okay. What you need is a sneakers. Entrance is just below. It's, oh, it's over there, of course. I forget that the fan patch version adds in these visible markers instead of just on the map and such. Who tip shoot them? Just noon. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I remember something, and I'm forgetting what exactly. Uh, what was it? What was it? Mm. All right. Uh, I did look at the voice actors for this game, but apparently uh, most of them went, weren't actually credited to what characters they voiced in such. But well, Steve Blum as Jericho is pretty obvious, or a, a Steve Blum sounded like. <laughs> Sound similar, whatever would be the case. I, I don't get it when they do that. Like, why don't credit the voice actors for who they voice acted? Like, I don't get it. Uh, voice acting was looked, well, to a you know, degree today still is looked down upon. I, I, I don't get why it's looked down upon. Yeah, suppose. Uh, it's not uh, where it was. Or, uh, can't hack the door from here, but according to this, there should be a load of ore coming through those doors in about two minutes. Can you wait? Not like there's much of a choice, is there? Well, there seem to be plenty of those deployable turrets around. You know what to do. Uh, I think saying? the sentiment was was that uh, it wasn't considered like quote unquote real acting, since More it's only voice work inbound. and such, which is well complete BS. Yeah, I think more and more coming around to it. And men have for a while been uh, coming around for it. And it has been forgotten a bit more uh, respect of late and all. But there are still some that don't take it seriously. It is yeah. kind of annoying. Yeah, in Japan, for a, a somewhat relatable related uh, thing. Up, up. Yeah, as you can see, spin users can just absolutely bully heavy armors. Uh, in Japan, the active video game making place. is still looked down upon to a degree as well. Wait, what? Yeah, like, like it's... From what I've heard, which is only indirectly, uh, a, lot of, you know, a lot of the culture in Japan, or at least the business culture in Japan, sees uh, video game making and such as a yeah toy making which they well they they snub yeah uh, what is the, what is the saying the the, the saying with the, putting your nose up at something or something wherever it's supposed to be worded actually my thing about it that, that's universal not you the japanese i think that's uh, probably still happens in america and such be careful because we are still quite hurt and we can't change the difficulty down so we'll, we'll have to get oh fuck we'll have to get good if we need to keep surviving these levels yeah but i can say this i think globally video game companies have got a bit more respect since uh, yeah more people are playing video games that now, now than ever and all that but I can say that it's not only Japan, it's definitely a global. Especially, I would say it will be especially in Japan, China, Korea, and America. Okay. 
I think in Sweden this looks more, more positive since, well, we have uni we have several universes for video game development. Um, I think over here in the Netherlands it isn't really locked down upon, but then again, I'm I'm in the uh, why I'm well, not in the I'm one of the uh, customers for it, so I yeah I would not hear any of that myself most likely. Yep, uh, actually no one was that worked by. Uh, you you remember Age of Wonders? Uh, yeah, I've never played it beyond Age of Mythology. Yeah. Age of Wonders not is series. not related to Age of Mythologies. Yeah, that's Age of Empires same that company. I was thinking of. Uh, Age of Wonders is made by Dutch Company, and a friend I met in Goose 2 used to work for them. Okay. General, I had the rescue he was... But, uh, they had to no let him go, though. Like and he is not allowed to tell uh, which game he was to work on. Yeah, NDAs and such. Yeah. But he used to work for them. And I've got to say his name for obvious reasons. Hello there, Daniel. Or no, Esther. Esther, it's time to leave. But Jericho, it's a trap. Your informant is Julia. Julia? She is using me to lure you down here. Let's get a move on, people. We haven't got all day. Just go, Esther. I'll create a distraction and deal with Julia later. It'll take the Elder at least two minutes to make her way to the rescue team. You have to hold the shaft entrance until she's clear. It'll be my pleasure. And again, we have to just hold the position down. <laughs> this is getting annoying. Uh, luckily, we are in heavy armor, so it is a lot easier to deal with. Oh, it would be a lot, harmer, a lot harder in a medium or even light armor. Yeah, there are still people that will look down on poor video games, especially old folks, but not as much as in other countries used to. At least, especially not in business matter. Like, a job's job. Yeah. Is this thing even firing? It doesn't seem to be firing half the time when I press it. Okay. Or, oh, I think I know what's going on. It's using energy. That's why. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense. So I can't really be flying around as much with it. Okay, that, that is a good trade-off for ha it having infinite ammo. Someone's enjoying themselves on the catapult. <laughs> okay, I need some health. And <laughs> they just stuck there. Oh, I think I just freed them. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was thinking about just burning the landing platform so he would just be bouncing in and out of it constantly. Ooh. Give me that. Instead. Also, before I forget, hmm? I noticed there's a, a, one other game I learned that also have a sound effect when you hit something. No. Oh. Ark. Um, it's been a bit it, since I've played. It, it has a sound effect when you hit something with a long rifle. With a dart. Okay. Yeah, like, to notify you that you've hit it. Uh, actually, I remember that. Yeah, you also get a hit marker, I think. Yep, and I, I'm not sure that. I think it might be only that weapon that does it. Maybe Sniper also does it too, but like, I never really used the high tech weapons in that game. That's true. Since, I... like, sure they are good, but they're so expensive. Especially the ammo, like, a smart person, they is either used in PP or you save those weapons and ammo for a boss fight. Yeah. Over a very strong alpha. 
Yeah, typically the long neck rifle is enough in uh, in PVE play. Since most of the time oh, yeah. you'll have dinos for actual killing stuff. Oh yeah. And even if you don't, the dino don't have enough kill power. You can always ride on the back and shoot from the back while riding around. Oh, and we then to give you the mobility to shoot. And which reminds me, I actually killed a few T-Rex today. Low level ones, but still killed a few with a... A Sender Bow, I found. Okay. So I just rode on an Iguanodon that has unlimited stamina I've been running on all fours. I just rode around like a crazy Mongolian. And just snipe shot the damn Rexes. And it felt awesome. Okay, I need health. Yep, you do. I think yeah, it broke your going to be But yeah, I gotta agree with Noon. Uh, business culture in Japan is toxic. Sometimes they expect like, what, uh, six, over 60 hours of work per week or something? Hey, yeah, it, 10 hey, days. I have to say this. Not Many people days. that criticize your business, like, yes. The British school culture is bad. However, there's no thing many people forget when they bring it up. It's that is. American work culture is equally as toxic in different yeah. manner, but if it's kind of noise before, many times I hear people criticize the uh, Japanese work culture, usually from someone in USA speaking like uh, if the American world work ethic is perfect. <laughs> Which it certainly is not. Absolutely not! And I and I realized that when a YouTuber from America just mentioned like, Oh, I love it! Like, yeah, Japanese work culture is horrible. But I keep forgetting to mention that USA is equally as horrible. Yeah, it has the same damn ways. problems. <laughs> Sorry. But, yeah. And I think with uh, the main difference of... Some little shit is lobbing grenades in here. Uh, in Japan, it's, I think it's mostly also, it's very well. They both have very long uh, hours, but in Japan, it is basically expected of people to uh, overwork themselves. Where uh, in America as well, but I think hmm, now that you actually mentioned it, it is basically the same problem, I think. But the, the reasoning that is given behind it is different. In yeah, with Americans it is just that well jobs pay shit, so they have to work extra long and add double jobs and etc etc. And in Japan it is basically expected to uh, yeah to do yeah. Uh, extra for the company out of honor and such. Yeah, I think I heard that they are working to fix it. For there has been progress on fixing it at least. Well, in America, yeah, yeah, I think you heard what happened uh, with Amazon, what they started to do when their workers started to unionize. You know where I am now. You want your revenge? Come and get it. Just, it, it's, it takes slower time in Japan, but they are doing the slow and steady wins the race. Like, as they are trying to fix it with a steady foundation. Yep. And here we go. Jericho versus Julia. You look like Victoria. Don't you dare say my mother's name. Now, to end my nightmares. And you, Julia. God, take this man into custody. No! Aunt Olivia, don't take this from me. I must. In a week, the... you will be queen. And then you execute this scum properly. But I will not allow you to taint the crown before it is yours. No! This is not what your mother would have wanted, child. Take him. Okay, so Julia said to be queen, but why not her aunt, since he's the elders, uh, obviously, or is it... Hmm. I 
guess is when they were looking for someone to marry. She was too... or something? And hello, Mercury. Established infiltration. Mission begins. <laughs> uh, let's see. Noon. There are good play Primary playing jumps. Access located. Insertion complete. Sensors indicate moderate to high Imperial presence. Analyze risk and confirm objective. Resource status minimal. Risk within tolerable bounds. Proceed with caution. Provision for proactive self-defense measures. Granted. Confirmed. Yay! Noon is saying there are good paying jobs in America. In Japan, there are just very few. I was thinking about working Alert. in Japan as a programmer. Toxins detected in water. Avoid contact. So you can change weapons while grapples without breaking the grapple line. Okay. Nice. And it's, uh, yeah. Only to find out that it does not make sense. Okay. Yeah, hopefully they will be able to solve it. For I know they are planning, they are working in solving it. It just takes slow time for a status foundation. And there also a generation problem, like, there was a golden age for Japan in economy and all that, which has not aged well. And it's kind of what, what, what's good for them back then, is kind of because your problems with them now. Yeah. And in your case of... Generational issues it, tend to, uh, well, stick around. Yeah, so it may probably take a while, but they are definitely looking into it. And it's definitely the, what's causing the biggest problem with the, what they call black jobs. This is basically jobs that are very much guilt tripping you and all that in the, the worst way possible. And people are okay. actually doing lists for public to uh, look out for not taking jobs from these black jobs. And by black jobs, it just means it's. Yeah, they, they're gonna run you down. And it's probably in an illegal manner. They just Basically, keep too out... much work, not enough pay to be extreme. Yeah, and they keep avoiding... Like, it, this is also a case of they all doing it illegally. Probably people that work for them don't often realize it. They don't realize they are supposed to report them. Or they're very good at hiding what they're doing. Hello, thank you. Oh, speed. <laughs> Airflow pipe security disabled. Even more speed? <laughs> Mercury is one speedy motherfucker already. Holy. Zoom. Okay. I think I had some people in Sweden try to do that for people looking for employment. Just to, if you don't work extra, I will let you go, like before they're officially working. But yeah, reports come flooding in and they did not work for those who try to abuse uh, those people. Yeah, I, I think you basically have that in every country, where, especially when people try it with uh, yeah, illegal immigrants and such. Because, yeah. yeah, if they report it, they're going to get, you know, there's a good chance they'll get thrown out of the country. So they have good reason not to report it. Yeah, but here people have been wise to report it regardless and actually get protection from that uh, kind of thing. But you see, other countries it doesn't work as well. Yeah, but the, where did you come from? But yeah, I think in Sweden and other uh, theater countries are very strict with it. That most people don't dare to try it. Yeah. But yeah, there are other countries where they actually do it regularly. This is just sad. Uh, no! Just out of ammo. Maybe what supposed to be like more gameless political and real life issues. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And on this. Okay. Miss. Um. I still need to. Ch I still need to test some of the games that we have listed for streaming after this. Um. Let's see, what was it again? I know we were thinking on doing... <laughs> okay, just nose-coping through the face. 
Um, MDK2 was on the list. Uh, Commandos 2 as well, I think. And Rayman 2. Uh, I think we put down Commandos 2 as a maybe because uh, it could end up going pretty lengthy. Uh, but yeah, most of those games should still work pretty well. It's just that uh, Commandos 2 might take quite a bit of time because, well, it's a, it's a strategy game. Well, a squad strategy game, but still a strategy game. Um, let's see, where do we need to go here? I'm trying to remember which Commandos was. It's so, so Actually, it's such a... Generic name is gonna become a problem for... There's so many names that have a similar name, like Commander, Commandos, Command and Conquer. You, you hear yourself, the problem there. Yeah. But yeah, there's a there's a upcoming Stargate game that is basically Commandos 3 with its gameplay, like isometric. Uh, you control a squad. Oop. Okay, let's leave the energy to charge a bit, and then we fly through. There we go. Um, we are low on ammo though. We should look at grabbing a blaster from one of these guys, if we can find it. <laughs> he's, he's just take, taking a nap. Oh, that's a blaster. Yeah. I could have maybe don't die from scrap nose from an environment, but sometimes it's a sad for... Yeah, it would be an actual environmental hazard to have a piece of metal flying to your face. <laughs> oh, we still take damage from the explosions. Um, hmm. Let's swap out this sniper because we're not going to get much sniping done in these close quarters. <laughs> he says, and five minutes later he realizes he needed it. Uh, if we do, we'll... There will likely be one laying around. I'm honestly surprised that there aren't more games that use jetpacks uh, in shooters and such. For one, I think one point we already brought up with that is that uh, it is it can be pretty tricky to program at all, which would be one of the reasons. But it's it's freaking jetpacks. Just add them to freaking games. Yeah, and it is was very, very uh, struggling to do it back then, especially. Yeah, it should be easier today. Yeah, like all, all the times it worked decently, but was on things like 2D games. Or some games that were very platform focused, but then they had to cut down on everything else just to focus on that. But yeah, N nowadays it should be theoretically easier. Do I think I've seen some games even today still struggle with jetpacks? Observation. Elevator access sealed. Advise. All eight doorways under security lockdown. Seek service conduits to bypass doorways. Scanning. Conduit detected above elevator door. Proceeding. Okay. Quick save. But yeah, you can just see how much mobility we have in this game. We we can just zip all over the place. Yeah. So, I guess the easiest way to say it is I kind of want a, another Tribes game, just to see what they can do with it. And if, if they could run it in Unreal Engine 5, it would be even visually impressive. It would be nice if they made Tribes games that, that really invest more in the story and all that. Because I'm still unsure how well the will uh, uh, Overwatch or Return Man such games do well today. True. Besides, hello, the, the Lil Tree. Uh, CSGO and oh, hello, Lil Tree. Nope. And um, yeah, I'm doing well on my end and. Uh, I'm sure about Helion. 
Uh, back from a night shift, uh, had a late sleep, but otherwise, uh, well. Oop. There you go. Wait, I thought you just came back from swimming. Yeah, but before that, so I, I came back at like 7 a.m. and slept until like 3. Alien, we talked about this again and again and again. I'm a Swede! We don't use AM and PM! <laughs> Uh, 1500 or something. No. I, I think I went to sleep at around 12. Wait. So when I woke up, you still not gone to bed? Mm. Nope. Yeah, I woke up at around 1800 or so, if you want to talk military <laughs> time. <laughs> I can't look at the shots. A question I wanted to ask a lot of times now, does the sweetest voice in your head have a name? So people actually read that. Yeah, that's Nurkir. Uh, maybe I should put, maybe you should put a tag on you or something to make it easier yeah. to know. Yeah, I'm Drakir, folks. I'm Drakir. Uh, the Swedish beard and lizard. Oh. Oh, apparently we missed a bit of vo a voice line, or at least I didn't hear it, but apparently Julia is trying to, well, see Jericho. Uh, probably, well, we can guess what the fuck she wants me to do with him. She wants him dead as can be. Yeah. Bye-bye. When I think, well, shouldn't it be updated to the Swedish solicitor instead of the Swedish voice in your head? For I'm not in your head exactly anymore. True. Uh, let's see. Interrogator, sir, prisoner Jericho is uncooperative. <laughs> says he only talked to Princess Julia. <laughs> Thank uh, you! <laughs> uh, give me a moment whilst I go deal with this whilst so I can read chat without being shot at. <laughs> oh. Okay, where to go, where to go? Ah, here we go. Okay, uh, let me pause for a second, even though we fly around a little... Uh, ta -ta -ta. Because I wanted to ask how Lizard Guy always manages to be so enthusiastic. It's quite impressive, actually, and adorable. <laughs> In air defense, am I wrong, though? No, you are not. <laughs> thank you again, Litri, thank you. But yeah, Drakir <laughs> is the extrovert of us two. I'm the introvert. People say the opposite of me in real life. <laughs> uh, 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 so usually, due to they don't usually bring up a topic and be happy about it. I usually try something, but sometimes uh, I, I kind of mix between, but on stream I find it easier to... Yeah, just have something more positive to talk about. Well, of course, most things I like to talk about in the chat from you people here. Uh, uh, sorry, talk to each other. Uh, well, from what I've known, some people just have a lot easier time talking when they don't have to be looked in the face and such. It's not in my case that... Detecting General Jericho uh, in the immediate vicinity. You have tuned think, my sensor array well. Yes, I have. I think it's more of a, In real life, I don't have enough people that can talk about the things I found fun and lovely. I do sometimes when I can. But it usually seems to be on deaf ears and such. But here I can, I know I can speak of something that all fun and just... Yeah, just go well. Uh, yeah, I, be, I basically cute. have the same. I, I just got cute. <laughs> First of all, I'm not cute. <laughs> uh, you're going to end up like Tatum, aren't you? You get cute and adorable all the time and they absolutely hate it. Or at least they act like they do. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> like, I, I had to for the compliments, but I also suddenly worried. 
So please, no sheik pinches. <laughs> Leave my face sheiks alone. <laughs> Transfer routine initialized. Guard room secured. Right, I just hope I'm not too loud and disturb people outside or something. I am trying to watch my volume. You. General Jericho, I have been engaged to remove you from Imperial captivity. I know why you're here, assassin. My client appreciates my discretion. Julia's not an idiot, and she's nearby. You understand she will catch up with you, don't you? Threatening me is unproductive. As I am not truly alive, I do not fear death. Doesn't mean I won't enjoy watching you die. It's safely three! So yeah, I'm, uh, I might uh, raid you after this. Okay, that that is clever that they lock the place up when prisoners are being transferred. Oh, hello. Because yeah, you, they might get they might get violent and try something, of course. What was that? Oh, a grenade oh, launcher. Oh, the in there. Oh, uh, those are supposed to be Imperials, I'm guessing, from the mask part. I think that's blood eagles. Uh, ew. And there was a big yeah. one in the other room. Okay, to... Uh, uh, that's uh, okay, that's the, an Imperial helmet. And uh, let's not ask about how the food is in this place. Probably shit. It certainly was worse in the first one. The first one was worse. And noon? Ice. Oh dear. Yeah. By the way, noon. I still have on the list to find a cute goo to name after you on Ark. Okay. At least I found a new animal to name after Helian. Thanks yeah. to our mod install today. Rainbow Parrot! <laughs> it glows so in the dark! Me on your shoulder. Yep, it glows in the dark and chains color! <laughs> All colors of the rainbow! Uh, oh, the burials. Uh, let's just focus on Jericho. Uh, you. Wait, what? Uh, you will soon leave your goo pot? Wait. What what do you meaning? You know, what do you mean with that? Are you doing to ascend? The good god. Okay, I might have pissed oh, off dear. a few too many at once. Noon becoming goat god? That that's I don't know if that's cute or concerning. <laughs> They're called Satan. Uh, but no Baphomet, if I remember correctly. Uh, break the pet on the fall again, my friend. You must become a pan. Or D pan. Uh, will that... <laughs> Where if... Uh, I'm trying to think of the correct word to, you know, to do this, but if they end up in deep fried pan, <laughs> they can be a... Uh, they can be a real dish. <laughs> no deep frying noon. Leave noon alone. Don't be friend a goat. I don't think I've ever eaten goat meat. No real interest in either, nor in goat milk. I haven't either. May have me some game, but the real line. I have eaten ox though, and I. I do not like ox. But boar. Oh, yes. boar and moose is good. <laughs> he had a single health left. <laughs> Ooh, I okay. almost thought you were landing into. You were so close to land on a split. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. 
And let's see if we can find a sniper rifle now somewhere. Yeah, hello. Thank you for dropping in. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, it, it, now you regret losing this sniper rifle? Only a bit. I probably should take out the other... No, I should take out the other targets first. Let's do this. Because I was getting hit by too much stuff besides Jericho. Die. Die. Uh, he has a shield. Ow. Go directly into that one. Uh, let's see. We can ditch the grappler, actually. I think you might need a grappler. Come on. Come on. Give me that. There are 15 shots. Okay. That should be enough to deal a good amount of damage. Yeah. I say yes. <laughs> the first shot immediately goes underneath him. Nice catch. No, you don't. You. Yeah, that is downing him a lot faster. You? Die. Die. You fuck. Yeah, that mortar of his is really dangerous. Nice Actually, I think I see a design flaw on the gun. Yeah, that it's open on the side. Yeah, like, when you see the bullet come out, like, why is that open? Um, I'm guessing the forward, forward bit is more of a guide than an actual barrel. And it would be easier to remove jams like that, I'm guessing. True, but it also makes it more vulnerable to being shot. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, I should be in the air more. Especially when de dealing with Jericho. You want some more? That. How did you... I've said it before, if, when you're, if you're in the air, you have the advantage, since you're a lot harder to hit. That is kind of true, considering how many arrows I spend on trying to kill seagulls in Ark. <laughs> yeah. So I have gotten better. I have actually a, a few times hit them in the eye. Blast was going to be as much use, especially uh, before, since we need to be in the air. mistake if brag, I hit them in the eye by coincidence. Die, die. Is there no health packs anywhere around here or something? And that's out. Give me your health. And give me that. I really like the design uh -oh. of the spin fuser in this game. In the other games that I've seen, it's just kind of crap. But if here it is, would be a damn dangerous weapon. Damn. Why do you can actually launch the discs? Huh? Oh, that looks like a place where there'd be supplies. You probably drop the blaster as well, since it also uses energy from the jetpacks. Yep, thank you. And I'll be taking that. Alright. He's over there. I'm not sure what that marker is for. Is anything else over here? Another grenade launcher. Come on, show your face, Jericho. Wait for it. For it to re uh, For the power to refill. Yeah. Damn it. Otherwise, I'm wasting shots. You. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is really good with that thing. Almost. Okay. Quick save, just in case. Ah! And there we go. Mm. And now we get back to where we started again. You have done well, considering. Cybrids. 
it took you long enough I... to notice you were shot. Cybrix, you child. Even with what they've done to you, I can see my brother in your eyes. All they it. were brown once, were they not? She's made fools of all of us, Julia. Take this. What do you see, child? What do you see? It belonged to your father. But yeah, the start had us thinking that it was Julia that killed him. And we're going back into the past. I have to go back. No, you don't. Our people are killing each other and we're we're living in some kind of fantasy. I know, but Oh. A and the assassin, he He was using Imperial equipment, Daniel. A gift from your father, perhaps. My father doesn't even know the Phoenix are on this planet. I if he did, he would have sent a rescue team, not an assassin. Huh. It would have to be somebody who hated us. Somebody who wanted... Oh. Daddy didn't send him, but who did? Good question. We get in. We get what we're after. We get out. And the what we're after part is... Said he may be a psychopath, but he's an obsessive psychopath. He keeps records on everything. I'm gonna hack their data store, and I'm gonna need your help. You're gonna have to keep me alive while I do it. Father is many things, but he's not stupid. If we can prove that there is a conspiracy to generate friction between our peoples, he will listen. Okay. I, I like that the Imperial Armors have those markings all over them. The radar won't pick me up in this tunnel. I'm gonna soften up their defenses up top. You, my dear, will capture their base from below. So get to their base and capture their territory. Uh -oh. I can't start my work until you do that. Oh no. Yep. We get to drive a tank. If a part of you drive me, this <laughs> makes me concerned. <laughs> I wanna say, I think I'm so far. Will be so recall it being it seemed uh, in, be on as you would probably be a boat. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this is one of the those jump tanks that we've seen like once or twice now. Hurry up, Victoria. We're taking a beating up here. Nice of you hey. to killing you and your imperial slut. Ignore him, Victoria. Focus on capturing their territory. Language? <laughs> Good job. But well, yeah, was he... it was a it was a did you accidentally on Valheim? How far for a moment get us stuck on top of a tiny rock with a longboat? <laughs> I think we did, yeah. Or <laughs> I think I did, yeah. Oh, buggy. Or rather, rover. It, it, at least the boat didn't break. Yeah. But and still, it would have. It would have been repairable. Or, yeah, but see, it was quite a what very big what the fuck moment. <laughs> Yeah, it, it might have been one of those times that we were running away from freaking sea serpents. Uh, they only did it once. It was not that time. Yeah, uh, yeah, this, <laughs> I steered us directly onto the shore, just beats the whole thing. Yeah, um, do, hmm. I think the time you accidentally got stuck in a rock, the, I think the, we so we started to be a bit panicked when we saw a troll in the distance and we did not want him to stop noticing us while yeah. we were stuck. Okay. Dead end. So we gotta step out. But yeah, I said earlier I like I really like the design of the spin fuser. Huh? 
Uh, be because what I've seen in the other tribes games, they are a lot more drab, just black and grey. Whereas this thing is blue and white. You should Probably see it on the tournament it's... version. It's more... Savage? I got There's massive this. That's it, the base is ours. Get your butt up here, Victoria. I'll have to check that out. I didn't know that... Uh... <laughs> oh, I'll take that. I didn't know that Unreal Tournament had a spinning fuser. I know a decent amount of the weapons. Uh... Well, they, they call it something else, like, I think, disc launcher or something, but it was a... Uh, it was a huge... blade it launched. It looked rather rusty. Even the gun that launched it. Okay, that makes sense. Basically just filing off the copyrights and such. Yeah, probably it's unsure who made it first. But this one looks more okay. like a, a clean and sleeker version. Check the generator while I perform the hack. If we lose the gen, we might never get the data we need. Keep out of my backyard, Daniel. You stop trying to have me assassinated, I'll keep off your property. Fair enough? Daniel, as lovely as that thought is, if I was doing the assassinating, I can assure you that you wouldn't be here to bother me. Victoria, focus on setting up base defenses because we're going to be here for a while. Take some time to get accustomed to the base layout and its surroundings, but don't stray too far. Protect while I do X. Uh, wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What, what, what do we need to protect you from a noon? Uh, yeah, we're once again defending. We're getting a bit much on the defending, but I don't think we'll have to do that much after this mission, from my vague memories. Let's see. Wait, mine, yes, is yes, we already know that. We should be able to see the enemies on the map coming, uh, because we have this thing at home in one piece. Let's see, I do not like missions ah. like that. Yeah, they, they can be really annoying. Yeah, there, there has Turn been rare mind, cases where right. they've been fun, but usually well they're either not fun or just plain out stressful. Oh, and here's Daniel, behind one of these honeycomb barriers. <laughs> like, I think the rare case where this has been fun is when you, well, give a fair amount of things to be able to do it properly in a more fun way. I think a good example of it people like that that's been done well is Genesis, the which ready. one? But that's more of you have your, your own army of dinosaurs to protect you while you open a lo huge loot crate. Uh, let's see, west this way. And yeah, I think I'll stick with the medium armor for now. So that we can use the turrets. Oh, oh it's a mortar turret. Let's see. Can just be more cannon? Nope. Oh, oh, hello there. <laughs> okay, that didn't do much. I just bounced it right off of him. And there we go. There's the... Oh, wait. It took out the turret. Actually, we can repair that, I think. Open people, blood eagles in the courtyard. Blood eagles in the courtyard. Yes, yes. Oh dear. Uh, for a moment I thought, wait, did that one die de belatedly? But no, it's the turret I <laughs> parked in the entrance that killed him. You have to repeat uh, that. They just passed the outer wall. Uh, it, one sounded of them that ran in... it sounded like you said something else. <laughs> Should I even ask? Ah! It sounded like you said that you... Fuck the turret in the wall? <laughs> no, I, I, I bumped uh... the turret down in the, the entrance. Okay, yeah, fuck, sir, for it. 
Don't be pretty word bad mood and say using the wrong word of an for minder. I still haven't found the evidence yet. You take orders remarkably well from the princess, my dear. Be ready for the next attack. They'll be coming. Oh, don't underestimate the, uh, this princess, lad. <laughs> Make sure our defenses are ready, Victoria. It's not gonna stay this quiet for long. Yeah, she ain't no fucking peach. Zoom. <laughs> it, it never re gets old, if you ask me, just skating around like that. I think that's probably the only game I've seen you actually skate around like that. Get downstairs and take out those troops. Oh. They're downstairs, so let's go deal with them. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen another game that has a, a skiing mechanic like Tribes. At least not a ski mechanic that is also a shooter. Yeah. But maybe a James Bond game, but... Those yeah, are a bit more, more linear. I meant more skiing around, like sliding on the floor like this, by your boots. Yeah. And not this... I, I just use the one okay. as the closest thing. The and that's it's a vague a similarity. Yeah. yeah. This one is definitely more advanced. Okay, let's refill up. Actually, let's see. Nothing new to try. We'll probably get attacked by. Sensors show a large group of Blood Eagle infantry moving in from the east. Hold them off. We'll probably get attacked by vehicles eventually. And when that happens, I'll go grab a missile pod. Okay, so there's another mortar. Nope. It's just a twin chain gun. We gotta deal with you before you start. Playing. They just passed the outer wall. Yep. They're inside the. What? Eyes open, people. Blood eagles in the courtyard. Blood eagles where, in the where courtyard. Where did that one come from? They just passed the outer wall. Okay, that's going to be get annoying with Daniel just narrating each and every one of them getting through the. Luckily, these idiots seem more focused on getting to the generator than dealing with us. Ooh. Okay, that was a good hit. Well, for us, not for him. Here we go. Yeah, a, a, lot of, a lot of this game is just... Trying to calculate where the fuck your enemy is going to be by the time the disc hits him. Yeah, trigonometry, yeah, trigonometry mages would probably love this game. Um, also, a bit of a, not really a correction, but an addition to something we said earlier. Uh, oh. This game is completely free, actually, because High Res Studios. Uh, has put it up on their site for free. You'll still probably want to get the fan pass version, but at, at the very least, uh, there's no chance of uh, yeah, getting sued or something for piracy. The attack is easy off. Hey. But stay sharp. They're going after the generator. If they take it offline, life will get a whole lot harder. Holy. There we go. Where will you strike from next? And what are these little Stay red close places? To the base. I'm gonna grab something. Okay. So don't die as a water soldier. <laughs> or I send a goat at you. Yep. Okay, game's loading in. Our base territory is being recaptured. Yep. Get down there and take out any enemy troops. Yep, wrong. I'm too used to crouch being go down with and elevators like that and such. Where's that red? Oh. Well, there's one hiding in the rafters. There we 
go flushed him out. <laughs> Contest the still one in here? Where are you? There you are. To defend it. Make sure you're ready for the next attack. That generator cannot be taken down. Let's hope there aren't too many more waves Victoria, of this. I've located the evidence, but my access to it is blocked. I need to retrieve a decryption routine from back home to get access. There are four transmission towers surrounding this base. I'll use them to download that program. If one of them is destroyed, we failed. Oh, so great. keep those towers safe. Be ready for aerial attacks. Those towers would be sitting ducks for an assault ship. And that's our cue to go grab the assault pod. Your missile pod. Uh, let's see. Let's let's swap out the grenade launcher. We've already got our well, a grenade launcher in the form of the spin fuser. Oh no, Victoria. I Incoming hostiles from multiple directions. I'm reading a couple of assault ships. Infantry, too. I don't think we can make it through this time. Is that what you were about to say, Daniel? Princess, make sure all of those towers remain standing. We need time to retrieve this program. You may want to grab a rocket pod to take out those assault ships. I still can't tell... Okay, they do home in, but they... Oop. Ow. <laughs> the missiles from the... Yep. <laughs> just what car the wheel. Uh, uh, this game's ragdolls just... <laughs> uh. Okay. Need to go grab that uh, missile pod again. Um, need a rocket pod. Let's put it actually there, and then we put the chain gun there. Oh no, Victoria! I... Incoming hostiles from multiple directions. I'm reading a couple of assault ships. Infantry too. I don't think we can make it through this time. Is that what you were about to say? Make sure all of those towers remain standing. You need time to retrieve this program. You may Teddy's want to grab a dick. rocket pod to take out those assault ships. Okay. Yeah, those cannons are really dangerous. Well, Seti is definitely pinning that barely. Something's wrong with him. Well, he, he's he's part of a faction entirely named after a form of execution. Of course, there's something wrong with him. And we're going to need something better than the missile pods, I think. Hmm. Or we just need to find a blind spot in their in their gun coverage. Also, I'm going to put down a safe after Seti does his little monologue here, because enjoyable as an asshole as he is. It's going to get annoying to hear it every time. Actually, maybe we can hit it with the oh, burner. No. Victoria, I... incoming hostiles from multiple directions. I'm reading a couple of assault ships. Infantry too. I don't think we can make it through this time. Is that what you were about to say, Daniel? Princess, make sure all of those towers remain standing. I need time to retrieve this program. You may want to grab a rocket pod to take out those assault ships. Or we try a mortar. Guess that should have a bit more range than us. Actually, just... Oh, that... I was going to say... I was going to say, trying to mortar a flying target might not be the best idea, but we knocked out both of the, both of the gunners, at least. But that's, it still has its main ornament. So yeah, let's go. Let's go into that thing before it destroys the, the yeah. The, the Those dishes. Those aren't looking too healthy, princess. Keep up the defense. Come on. Yeah, this thing doesn't actually have too much range. Okay, how are you, Daniel? That thing is hardly scratched. Another assault ship is inbound. 
Oh, oh that's debris. There it is. Okay. Um, can we reach it with this gun? Because these are a lot easier to aim. Seeing as, well, it's literally aim and shoot. <laughs> Whatever's in the path dies. Yeah, that's not going to be... Come on, let me use this. Come on. Eyes open, Victoria. Don't allow any of those towers to be destroyed. Okay, where is... There it is. Okay, can those hit? I think they... Yes, they are hitting. Enemy troops have entered the base. Come on. I can see you dropping the three. There's one gunner gone. Come on. There we go. Again, you. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. How are these doing? Princess, Good. I'm reading more incoming hostiles. Multiple tank units and infantry. I so oh no! That gave me flashback. It was something I heard from a character in Warhammer Fantasy. I'm a dark elf, and uh, the you dark elves, nothing should surprise. In this case. I don't think I should mention what he... I, I, I can mention parts of it, but it would still miss the point due to it would still... To get the clip pitch, I would need to use some, because I don't think we should be using for Twitch. Yeah. Or did this... I think this docket was called Man Flayer. Oh. Was our last name. Victoria. When was the last time I saved? No idea. I think but, after. I think it was after the first gun, uh, gunship. Or, no, it was yes. just here. But yeah. He had a caught a human. Multiple tank units and infantry. I so wanted to provide a Go ahead. Right. Uh, have, have to someone. And. Uh, Let's say this, uh, his men did something to this human's wife and then just throw his wife's skinned face to the husband. Yeah, of course. And he was, sold as, it, it, he was to be sold as a slave as well. Okay. And yeah, Seth just, just made me, me remember that guy. And this get, it gets worse. He's a Corsair! Uh, Corsairs are known, okay, Corsairs known for using dr sea dragon scales and c codes, oh. but... Ow. Not him! But he does the use also, but they also put an extra layer or something else upon the dragon scale codes. There's what? Human... Human skin. Yeah. They, they were hum full human pelts. As cloaks. And they are basically dark elf pirates. There we go. Yeah, if, if the gunner uh, isn't good on these, then they're not very dangerous. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I hope we don't get to see anything that sinister from well, You know what? I will not be surprised if Bloody just does that. At least I not on screen. Surprised. Yeah, I'm fully not on stream. Stay sharp. Okay, the nope. towers are going and doing well. Where they were? Oh, okay. Now I'm unsure. For considering how well this game is, I don't know if it'll be okay for Twitch to see it or not. For depend, it depends a bit on quality. Like if it was on the modern as an evil remake, then that kind of thing would be very disturbing to see. Mm. 
Shut up, Daniel. Uh, yeah, this, this goes to show that how useful the spin fuser is, since it's basically effective at, against most everything, as long as you can land a hit on it. The only thing it wouldn't be really good for... Oh crap, they need health. Don't allow any of those towers to be destroyed. The only thing it really wouldn't be good at would be uh, anti-air. Though, gunships would be pretty easy to hit, I presume. Okay, heal up. Victoria, you better keep that generator up and running if you want me to find that evidence. It's completely untouched, dumbass. One of those towers is almost destroyed. Defend it with your life. Yeah, that one's halfway about. Didn't know you had it in you, Victoria. Nice work. Wait. Okay, those are... <laughs> oh, get fuck, there's a mortar. Okay, I've got the program. I can remove the file encryption. I'm gonna pick up the paste, boys. Looks like Daniel has learned to Ignore him, Victoria. I'm installing the encryption removal software. Soon I'll have access to the evidence. Stay alert, though. You're not done yet. Here we go. Uh, how is that one doing? He oh, fuck. Wait, nine, nine, six? I'm having some trouble installing the software. Oh, wait, we don't need it Seems them anymore. Seems like my access is being blocked remotely. I'm picking up some enemy signals to the north. Ah, I see. Victoria, seems SETI has some of his best hackers blocking my system access. There are three generators located to the north. I've gotten you access to an assault ship to the rear of the base. Take it and go destroy those generators. Once they're down, I'll have full access to the evidence. <laughs> this is an Imperial sh assault ship. Well, they have been... They mentioned they have raided Imperials before. For True. medical supplies and everything else. Those outposts, you need to destroy the generators that are housed in each one. No! You won't be leaving here alive! He sounds worried, Victoria. Get in there and destroy those generators. You know, if you wanted That's to... That's one down, only two to go. You know, said he, right. if you wanted these to be safe, you should have put them a bit further away from the base. <laughs> and, and why put floating generators? Like... One more, Victoria. Then we can get out of here. Is it for the signal? Yeah, they're using that to power jamming equipment. Yeah, but still, why in the sky? Uh, same reason why... Oh, this thing is almost going to break. <clears throat> the same reason... Oh. I can access the data. Just in time. I've got some support coming in to get us out of here. They'll be here momentarily. We're in a tight spot, but we're on our way in to get you, sir. We won't be long. You'd better hope not. All units, attack! They're going after the generator. If they take it offline, life will get a whole lot harder. ETA, three minutes and counting. Okay, now we have the timer at the top. Quick save. Uh, why they'd have it in the air would be the same reason, I guess, well, why you want to be in the air with the jetpacks. It's a lot harder to hit. Or, well, they're stationary, so they would be easy to hit, but at least they, it would be harder to bombard them from the air. Even though that's exactly what we did. <laughs> yeah, in, in this case, that would be a very big target. Like... It means it's harder to bombard them to underground. Like where you mostly store generators. Yeah. I I'm guessing these might have been more mobile. Mm. I get the feeling... Yeah, the, the I think base. that repairer that we put that I put down is repairing the generator exactly as I intended. Or it, or they're not getting through those its shields. That could also be the case. That is the white bar underneath. I don't think I've pointed that out before. Um, Vic, keep an eye on that generator. It ain't looking too healthy. Shut up, Daniel. It's full. <laughs> Uh, the ring isn't even on, and they're already having marital spats. <laughs> Victoria, 
What the? Did we just... I think we just took a... <laughs> I think we just took a shell to the face. Possibly you just... Rode a cartoon and just... Rode around and landed on your bum like a Barbie doll. <laughs> okay. Now, I guess this means that it's no personal or... Yeah, you said she's no Peach, but she's no Barbie either. Yeah. I so yeah, put that there. That it's no useful. personal people. I think we can mostly ignore the tank. They just passed the outer since it's outside. Shut up, Daniel. Hmm. Let's see how a burner actually does against the jump tank. Is this because we really need heavy? Mm. I don't think so. We hope oh, the turret's been destroyed and <laughs> I think that one caught it to the I think that one caught the fireball to its nuts. And that one well, just got shot in the back of the head by the tank. <laughs> oh dear. I, I heard of toasty nuts and roasty nuts and such, but Bloody heck! Mm. Uh, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. They're inside the base. Keep your heads up. Shut up, Daniel. I already you. They're attacking the generator. Go heal up. I don't actually know if getting hit whilst we're regenerating actually stops it or not. That, that one had a perfect opportunity to demonstrate that for us, but they didn't. The burner would probably be best against light armor. Because, yeah, as long as you can hit somewhere near them, you're going to light them on fire. Going after the generator. If they Shut take up, it Daniel. Line, life will get a whole lot harder. Yeah, just just hit anywhere near a light, and and they'll get lit up. They'll get lit up and take damage out, no matter how much they run away from you. It's even decent against heavy you know, medium armor as well, and heavy armor would probably be unable to escape the find? flames. Everything we need, Victoria. Let's get out of here. Finally! Freedom! Uh, wait. This is what our men died for. Brother, we can prove to the Emperor that... To my father, that someone is profiting from the war between our people. She beds with you, and now she speaks for you. Is that it, Daniel? Your father is a murderer and a criminal. I don't know what my brother sees when he looks at you, but all I see is the blood of my people. Victoria, Jericho Everything just... he said was true, Daniel. For hundreds of years, we've been at war. Do you know what they teach Imperial children? That tribesmen have horns and tails? How can we... how can the two of us hope to fix this? In my tribe, every boy is given one of these when he is born. No two amulets break the same. Once they are split, the halves belong only to each other. I think it's time you met my father. And that's where that thing came from. So? He said he'd see you. He said he's willing to talk. Did you show him what we found at the Blood Eagle base? 
Yes, and he said, that's interesting, and maybe I was wrong about the Phoenix, and, and maybe it's time to try to put aside our differences. When do I talk to him? Well, there's just one thing. He wants to see if you're a serious man. That's all? Okay. What do I have to do? That can't be good. Yep, go fucking course. Oh no. You didn't say you were going to humiliate him. Yes, he would have been much wiser to execute the lot. Known terrorists in the capital. This is how things are done. I can't be handing out Imperial audiences to any tribal hoodlum who walks through the door. He was your kidnapper, Victoria. And now he's my friend. He can be yours if you give him a chance. And for you, Victoria, that is what I have granted. We're all gonna die. <laughs> well, at least he's being optimistic. Yeah, and again, voice handling is good, except for that scene where she. And once well, again, yeah, that was that that's also your size, you or some of odd. Nine rounds of mortal combat between the Imperial Guard and the Phoenix Tribe. Looks like the Phoenix have their work cut out for them. We're gonna have to be smart about this. In all their generosity, the Imperials gave me a chain gun, but hardly any ammo. Something tells me it won't be enough to handle everything that comes into this arena. Let's start things off with some beastly opposition. Samus? Oh, oh, wait, no, th those were the yet packs. Why do I get the feeling they don't mean cute little bunny rabbits? Everyone, get ready. You got it. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. Why are the women not having armor? They only, they only seem the men get a bit more armor for the belly. Should be used to killing these things by now. Uh, okay, I, I thought we we weren't seeing these things after the the part with Victoria, but it seems I was wrong. Yeah, might as well save up on ammo. Okay, but yeah, nine rounds shouldn't be too hard. Some suppression fire. I'll draw the bastards into your sights. Manning the turret. Got you six. Daniel, I noticed there's an emergency station over there. If you get a repair pack from it, you can keep our turrets running as well as heal yourself. Looks like Where's that the turret station? has my name on it. Where's that station? We've seen a few. Ah, oh, there it is. We've seen a few of these here and there already. In the last few missions. I, th I think they're in the multiplayer as well. I'm guessing this is this is to teach you to cooperate with your teams in multiplayer to uh, yeah drop targets towards turrets and such. Oh, taking that. Oh yeah, so much for the civilized empire, huh? When they're sending people to die in the fucking arena. I wonder how did this happen? Keep moving. I'm here if you need cover. Yeah, just a duelist. Duelists generally have spin fusers and bucklers, I believe. We haven't actually seen the buckler in action, I think. Never mind, he has a grenade launcher. And he's smart enough not to run directly in front of the turret. But he was. <laughs> No, Daniel, that's just your deodorant. Oh, the oil. These guys have 
Okay, this is what? round four, I think. Why well, do I have to stretch do. my arms up when you said that and uh, notes set of my own deodorant? Here. Go. One more, or no, two more. Yep, even more. Yeah, this is being rigged against us. So much for being willing to talk, huh? And then again, from his point of view, uh, do, Victoria could be dealing with a, a full-on case of Stockholm Syndrome. Possibly. Safe. Let's see. But yeah, I'm guessing that's another thing they're teaching to scavenge as many weapons as you can find on the battlefields. Wide shot. Uh, yeah, I should lure them in front of the guns more often. So much for the All-Stars. We've seen Tom Goy for the Royals. They might be waiting to round six to really get in the game. But there's another tribal face-off starting up at center stage. More beagles. This should be fun. Time to even things out a little. Hannah, David, get on beagles. the field. <laughs> It sounds like it's meant as an insult. Action, yeah, it totally is. Another save. Yep, there we go. Oh, these are. Watch out for their missiles. Ah, oh, there we go, guys. It's the heavy. It was the heavy. There's something else with them. That way. Yeah, another heavy with missiles. Yeah, these are some fancy bunkers. Artillery points. drop something useful. They should have dropped a missile pod or two. Uh, if their bodies are still around. Uh, fighters. We could kill yeah, the pilot instead of fighting, we could steal it. But we're not that lucky. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, we can't use it. as much as we can. Another quick save, just in case. Oh dear. Got your back, sir. Oh, 
Oh, I did not expect that to hit, actually. Oop. And... Yeah, we maybe no should have stayed away. <laughs> we should have stayed away from the big ass bomb. But moment, I thought you won. Yeah, but this the is moment. seven or something. Let's let's actually blow these up ourselves to get rid of them. Um, yeah, there they are. From where I thought we were still on the fighter round. I would kill that one. Okay, final rounds. That. Okay, some heavies. Oh, one of our team got shot. They got a bit more than shot, they got full on killed, but they're well. I was about to say, uh, repair packs don't work just on heavy armor, some every other armor it can work. Okay, so. I'm done here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Imperial Sport at its finest, but all good things must come to an end, because here come the Imperial Armored Corps, and everything up to this point was just fun and games. I'll take that as a no. Of course. Better be the finale. And also those fireworks really looks like soda bottles. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sent me in a freaking gunship. Luckily they're dumb enough to fly in front of the turrets. That's the gunner's gone, and that's my ammo gone. Uh, yeah, that's not going to... That wasn't me, I'm pretty sure. What the hell? I thought this was supposed to be over. Okay, tank. And hopefully that should be the end of it. Guns, guns. Any shots are plenty. Okay, that was that was just some timing there. <laughs> Serious trouble, Dad. And we have like uh, less than a minute left. Yeah, we can finish this mission and deal with any cinematics after, and then we'll end the stream. Yep. I need to go find some health packs. Oh, thank you. Okay, deal with the gunners, and the rest is easy. Timer going off. Direct <laughs> hit. Okay. Here we go again. Um, unless this is going to take too many tries, we are just going to end it after this round. This secret, totally in the bullshit third round. 
totally not meant to just kill us. Okay, that's a new line. Nothing hidden in here. Except for just a pit to get hit in. Okay, give me your health. Come on, there we go. There's their health packs. What the hell? I thought this was supposed to be over. Okay, yeah, we really need to find some health packs. The fact that we don't have a supply point is really hurting us on health. And another Phoenix goes down. Let's hope the others have better luck for their sake. Some ammo and another kit. Okay. That tank that gets around to the other turret is gone as well. Miss. Um. We get hit directly, we're dead. And that's the third. That's it. I was just getting warmed up. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed history. <laughs> and so I said, Glorax like two things heat. And filet of princess. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that story one more time. I'm sending you back to the arena. My daughter, you are a different person. I thought I had lost my child. I have. For you no longer are one. And I can't help but think that maybe this tribesman has some things to teach me, too. Whoa, whoa! Slow down! What? Daniel? What? Everything we did! Us! It was all a lie, Victoria, wasn't it? Just a deception. W what is it? What did Jericho tell you? Or maybe we're both just pawns. Well, pawn can take now, care. Now, Daniel, let's sit down and... <laughs> That was a bit awkward. Love blinds us. Your father's love blinded him. He wanted to believe in you, that you could see something that he could not. Your love for the tribesmen blinded you. Yes, I know. And my love blinds me. Keeps me from telling you that blood must beget blood. If only you weren't a child. Where are you going? To grow up. Hey. Well, I guess it's confirmed. Assassin's Creed and Tribe same I'm universe. Going to find him. We have the entire Imperial Guard searching the city. We'll find him. I know how he thinks. Okay. And yeah, that's what set everything off. Well, in the future, okay. at least. Yeah, okay. A lot of the cinematics uh, has been good. Just only two has been odd so far. Like, one where she was very giddy and cupping her hands. And... The walk cycle. This one with... Uh, what? The walk cycle with Daniel and Victoria <laughs> was a bit jank as well. Oh yeah, that as well. But also this... Uh... Your story was just felt 
awkward cinematic leave a bit. Uh, how she reacted to her father dying looks, looked at a bit oddly tame reaction. Yeah, more sh shocked, I'd say. Yeah, but it was came off. Maybe just an animation in Saudi made it sound a bit oddly mild. Quite a detail. It's, it's, it, it, it almost felt like they tried to imitate Game of Thrones to. Well, Game of Thrones was not even a thing back then. Yeah. <laughs> perhaps. Uh, perhaps. Ooh. Perhaps Game of Thrones copied Tribes Vengeance. <laughs> That would be a comical twist, wouldn't it? But yeah, we'll have to see how this ends up. How this ends, though, we can take a good guess next time, though. So for now, yeah, we've already saved, but let's double save. There we go. And yeah. I think we'll get one more stream out, out of this, maybe a second after, or rather uh, a fifth stream, because this was number three. And, uh, um, hmm. I'll see if I can stream tomorrow. And other than that, um, I'll have to double check if I think I have work this weekend, but the, the one, the week after that, I don't, I think. I'll have to double check because the, the schedules can change, of course. And, uh, yeah. Um, there was something else I think. I've, I've, been ca I've been catching up on uploading the VODs from streams uh, because I finally figured out that, hey, YouTube can allows you to batch upload videos, which actually puts them in order. Before, ha before I was uploading them one by one, which... Uh, yeah, would get really tedious, especially when one would upload uh, would uh, actually process faster than the previous one would and would put it in wrong, would put them in the wrong order. What? Yeah. Uh, basically, with uh, when uploading to YouTube first, there's the upload itself, and then it has to process the video. And yeah, with some, it would just be a lot faster on the processing and put it in the wrong order because it was well it'd be published first because they instantly get published after that if you now if you set them to public they'll get public yeah you know, published instantly for the moment i have a lot uploaded but not published yet well yeah um let's go see if there's anyone to raid lil tree is probably online yeah and also you're welcome moon <laughs> and thank you for joining us Yes, definitely. Uh, okay, let's bring that over here. Actually, I could just have it on Maybe. the same monitor. Then it doesn't Maybe. look like I'm breaking Maybe. my neck. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Viking Blonde is on, and of course, Lil Tree is live. Uh, <laughs> I I accidentally punt there since their name is Lil Tree Live. So yeah, Lil Tree is live. <laughs> Hey, uh, alien. What are we to do with you? Let me grab their name and then restart the raids. All right. Um, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, we'll, I should be able to stream tomorrow again. We'll see if we'll do tribes or if we will continue with Monkey Island. Um, but yeah, for now, Thanks again, and uh, thank you especially, Drakir. And of course, you as well, Noon, and Lil Tree, who was around for a bit. You're most welcome, my friend. And, uh, yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks! Uh...